Welcome back Python enthusiasts. In today's video, we'll delve into the fascinating world of callback functions in Python. Callback functions play a crucial role in event-driven programming and asynchronous operations. So let's get started. Um, first things first, what exactly is callback, right? So in Python, a callback function is a function that is passed as an argument to another function and gets executed at a later point in time. This allows us to define a piece of code that will be called back or executed when a certain event occurs or a specific condition is met. Now, before we move on to different slides, let's look at an example to understand it better. Suppose we have a function called calculate that performs some complex calculations and we want to execute a different function. Let's call it callback. Once the calculations are complete, we will proceed something like this. So first I'm going to define a function called calculate and callback is going to be the argument. So in this function, we are going to perform complex calculations. For the time being, I'm going to take very simple calculations. Suppose I'm assigning something to a variable. So result equals to 42 and callback result. Okay, so once the calculations are done, we are calling the callback function. And then I'm going to define another function. Let's call it callback underscore function. And the argument is going to be result. And here we are going to print the result. All right, now we need to call the calculate function and pass the callback function as an argument. So calculate callback underscore function, right? So in this example, we define the calculate function that takes a callback function as an argument. Inside the calculate, we perform some complex calculations and store the result in the result variable. Once the calculations are done, we call the cal callback function and pass the result as an argument. The callback underscore function is defined separately. And in this case, it simply points, it simply prints the result. We then call the calculate function and pass the callback underscore function as an argument. When we execute the code, uh, the calculate function, uh, when we execute this entire code, um, the calculate function will perform the calculations. And once it is finished, it will call the callback underscore function with the result. This allows us to perform additional operations or handle the result in a different way, depending on our needs. Now, you might wonder, what are the practical applications of callback functions? Because this is a very simple example, right? Let me go back to the slide. Okay, so if you're wondering what are the practical applications of callback functions, well, callback functions are commonly used in event-driven programming, such as GUIs and web development frameworks, graphical user interfaces and web development frameworks. And in GUI programming, callback functions can be used to respond to user interactions like button clicks or menu selections. When a user performs an action, the associated callback function is called, allowing us to update the UI or user interface and to perform specific tasks. And similarly, in web development, callback functions are widely used in frameworks like Flask and Django. They enable us to handle requests, execute code asynchronously, and respond to events triggered by user actions or external systems. So to wrap things up, 
callback function in Python is a powerful tool for event-driven programming and asynchronous operations. And by passing functions as arguments, we can specify custom code to be executed when specific events occur or conditions are met. That's all for today's video on understanding callback functions in Python. I hope you found it helpful and gained a solid grasp of this concept. Remember, mastering callback functions can open up a whole new world of possibilities in your Python projects.